Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, gosh, I really got my head wrecked yesterday by the indexing puzzle that indexed along the top row and bottom row and the left column and right column. And uh, yeah, as several commenters pointed out, I did not exactly nail the break in. And the reason I gave for excluding six, seven, and eight from one of the cells was was wrong. And uh, but as the comments also pointed out, you could easily do it later. So anyway, my sincere apologies about that to uh, Seren and to lots of you. In fact, we do seem to be in a bit of a run of debuts. Uh, there was Seren. I think there was another one in the couple of days before that. Today's looks like a debut to me. And we've definitely got one coming up in my slot in the next two or three days as well. So um, yeah, thank you very much if you're sending us puzzles. In fact... We will very soon be releasing, um, well, re-releasing our submission guide and attaching a style guide for how we prefer the rules to be phrased if possible. So, um, yeah, that might help people with their submissions anyway. So that'll be coming out soon, probably on the community tab of the YouTube cha channel. So you might want to look there for it. Have, it hasn't happened yet it'll be in the next couple of days so uh and um, last time i said that it didn't happen so let's hope it'll be in the next few days right um enough about that don't forget to look at the apps and the merchandise you've still got a day or two left on j dyer's unbelievable numeric alchemy sudoku hunt so many entries still coming in you guys are literally just brilliant you patrons out there who can solve that whole hunt um, I mean, I, I'm going to disclose to you that going through the puzzles of that took me, I reckon, a total of seven or eight hours. And I've got a lot of experience. <laughs> it's a head wrecker as well. Let's hope I don't get another one today. Um, you'll be able to tell from the video length, perhaps, whether I have. Um, this one slightly reminds me of... Puzzles you used to see in uh, in uh, in the Sudoku Grand Prix or the World Championships. Um, I managed to forget to enter the Sudoku Grand Prix this weekend. I I did one of the puzzles to to test out the the instruction booklet, and then I remembered that it was on when there were seven minutes left in which to enter. And I thought for a ninety-minute test, that's not going to help. So I did not classic um anyway rising streak that's what we've got today the rule set is this normal sudoku rules apply that means one to nine goes in every row column and three by three box um each number outside the grid indicates that there is a streak of at least that many increasing consecutive digits in the row or column in that direction e.g for a number a number above the grid indicates a downward streak in that column. For instance, um, let's put this in here. 2, 1, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 5 has a maximal streak of four digits to the right. 6, 7, 8, 9. They're consecutive. So the clue here could be 4 or 3 or 2 or 1. Not 1, because that would be a pointless clue. 4 or 3 or 2. Um, because that, what the clue is telling you is that there are, there is a streak of at least that many digits facing this way. The clue on the right side of the grid, I think, could only be a two representing that one two. Um, not all rows and columns with streaks are indicated. So a blank outside the grid doesn't mean there is no, uh, ascending consecutive sequence. Right, I mean, I understand that. It's not quite the same rule set as I've ever seen before. So we'll see how 3Good5U has managed this. I think 3Good5U is moving on one from 2Good4U. And we will see if 3Good5U is too good for me or not. Right, do give it a try on the link under the video to see if you are too good for it. And uh, let's get cracking. Okay, so... Do we, we must start with the big numbers, not the small numbers. Ah, and there's a junction. Yeah, this is a bit... Maybe this is a bit like skyscrapers that 
that meet. Skyscraper clues that meet. I'm thinking that if this six clue is anything other than just those six digits, then it must run into a sequence of the seven clue on the right going that way. In fact, the seven clue has to use the middle five digits. Let's the middle five cells of the row, because any sequence of seven is going to include those five. So I'm colouring them green. I'm going to number them as well. I reckon it's got to start with three, four or five in this, se in this section of five green digits. They must be part of the ascending sequence. Now, that does not have to be part of this six cell sequence. But only if it's confined to those six. Right. Now, just as and I've only just seen this, 5, 6, and 7 have to be included in that sequence. Oh, yeah, 4... Do 4, 5, and 6 have to be included? More than that, actually. 4, 5... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 have to be included in this 7. Don't they? I'm managing to confuse myself quite badly. I don't think I've got this right, these, these pencil marks, because why couldn't it go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Oh, that's very annoying. Oh, I'm losing, losing the run of myself here. Um, 4 or 6. OK, so now I'm a bit less sure. However, if those six were a separate six, if that wasn't part of this run up here, it couldn't be four, five, and six. I think four, five, and six have to be included in the sequence up here. Whether it's one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or anything in the middle, four, five, and six are included. Now, they might be there. But otherwise, they're in this sequence, and then that wouldn't be 4, 5, or 6. I'm a little bit confused, actually. Um, anyway, these three cells must be in the ascending sequence. I'm going to use a different color. Let's make them purple. We've got purple ascenders. I might use different colors going down and going to the left as well. Anyway, that's, that's not the exciting part of the puzzle. Mm. I need to decide if they do hit this and then turn or not. Ah! Ah, I've got it. Oh, well, now I've got something. Right, this sequence does not go up to here. And that has suddenly become obvious to me because those two digits would be exactly the same. If the purple sequence went up to here, that would be one more than that cell, and that would be one more than that cell, and those two would be the same. So, well, I don't know if it goes to this cell, because then it's all right. But it must include these five cells. They're definitely in the six-cell sequence now, because it doesn't go up here. And um, this, this, this is a... This is a learning that I can carry over. For instance, that, well, that could be the five cell sequence, but it could not also be the start of the six cell sequence. In fact, if that's in the six cell sequence, yes, this can't be, I think, in the six cell sequence. I'm, I'm, well, hang on, the numbers are going to get too big. OK, I've, everything is looking impossible to me at the moment because I've misunderstood something. That's quite weird. OK, my problem is this. If these two... if OK, first of all, if that was in the northbound sequence of six, then that couldn't be in the sequence of five because those two would both be one more than that. They'd both be the same and they're in the same box. So therefore, the sequence would have to run that way. And then if you just counted them up, you'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you'd be broken. So 
I don't think there's any way that that can be in the six cell sequence. However, that gives me a different problem, which is that how can this sequence go up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bust. Ah, it doesn't have to go to the end of this. So I think this sequence can't begin here for the reason I just explained. It must carry on up to here. That is the last cell in this six cell sequence and is therefore six or seven. Right, and that has reduced all the possibilities. And it's taken me a long time to get that far, and I think that is relatively straightforward. So my apologies for sporting with you non-deliberately. See, that is all right. Now, this seven cell sequence can't go beyond here, so it must include this cell, which is now three or four. Ah, oh, and we've got a two cell sequence the other way. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, that cannot overlap because you would, yeah, wherever you had the high point of the two sequences that overlapped, be it here or here, or even here, um, the two cells on either side of it Say that was the high point there. The two cells on either side would be the same. So that's nonsense. So they don't overlap. So they have to be separate. So the green is over this side. The blue, no, the orange, let's say, is over this side going that way. And now we know what these are. They can't be 2 to 8 because that would be 1 and 9, which are not consecutive. So you can fill in the whole row suddenly. Quite like this puzzle from the point of view, if you make a few deductions, you can suddenly fill in loads. Look at that. That must, oh, not one. That must be all right. Um, now, so that's actually just working on, on the big clues, seven and six and one of the small ones. Right, eight in this column is not there. That's one and nine. The eight is here. That has to be in this sequence because it's five cells. So they must include the middle cell. Right, so seven and six Oh, I'm in the wrong mode. Seven and six and five must be included in the sequence because eight is so high. But does it begin with a four there or end with a nine here or both? That's allowed. I don't know. Oh, we've got a three cell sequence from the right. Right, what's that got to include? It's got to include, it's either one, two, three or two, three, four. It's got to be one of the, so it includes two and three. Now the two must go in one of those cells. It can't go here because there's no room for the three. Actually, it can't go here because then that would be a three and clash with that three. So that's not the two. The two is here in the sequence. So the sequence is two, three, four. We need, uh, the one is no use to the green sequence so we need a nine in it. The one is in the corner. Maintaining its religion. Okay, well the big numbers seem to be helpful. We've used the 7, the 6, and the 5. Let's try the 4. Is the 3 in the sequence? Okay, well that is extremely annoying. I just ran into a blue screen error, and I'm wondering how far along... I don't think I'd put any more in the grid. You can tell immediately, I can't. Um, I think I was considering this three and this four error. So let's hope that this is just, well done Sven Software as usual for saving the, uh, the point I'd got to. Now, I was just thinking that could be a three, four, five, six there. Now the alternative, well, there's two. I suppose there could be a four cell streak there or there. Okay, I, that's probably not what to look at next. How about this? Ah, this is interesting. This is another four clue. So, right, the, this streak of four doesn't include those two cells because that nine would have to be included and we'd have to have 10 and 11. That's nonsense. So they definitely include this one. Now I'm using purple for upward streaks. Now it could be part it could be 4 down to the 4, it could be 4 up to the 9, or it could be a separate 4 that doesn't use either of them. But in any case, I think it's going to use the numbers 6 and 7, this sequence. Because 
either it's six, seven, eight, nine, or four, five, six, seven, or if it's in here, it's five, six, seven, eight. It can be longer than any of those, but it's still using six and seven. So six and seven are being used, and they're not, if it's six, seven, I'm gonna mark where six and seven can be. If it's six, seven, eight, nine, the six, seven are there. If it's four, five, six, seven, the six, seven are there. And if it's a four cell sequence of five, six, seven, eight, then they're still in uh, two of these positions. So that is reasonable pencil marking for six and seven. Now, what does that do? This is definitely in. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do know, because where's 1 and 2 in this column? They're not up here in this box, because 2 and 1 are already there. We've got to fit them in here. So, this is either... Oh, well, we're not going to fit them in under this cell, because a 2 would cla two there would clash with a 2 here. So we've got to fit them in here. That's 2 and 1. 7 is now here. 6 is there, and it must be a 5, 4, 6, 7 sequence. And we've done that sequence. We've got a 1, 2 pair there. That's a 3, 8 pair. Now this 4 clue is getting interesting. Right. It could be 5, 6, 7, 8 here. It cannot... Oh, it could be 1, 2, 3, 4. It can't include both the 3 and the 6, because they're, they're too far apart to be part of it. It's either 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, or it's a whole sequence here, but what four digits would it use if it can't use 3 and 6? That's not possible. Oh, and it can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, because the 1 would clash with the 1. So I think it has to be 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. That's right, five, six, seven, eight. And I can make them all green, can't I? Now, I've got one and nine. Oh, there's Sudoku to do, finally, in my Sudoku puzzle. That's a one, I think. This is four and six. I hope this is right, it feels right. Three, seven, eight are a triple here. Two, four, nine are a triple here. I've done all of the long clues, seven, six, five, and both fours, and one three. So I've got, oh, this three is probably where to focus on. Ah, and that eight, nine are not in the sequence, because that would need a seven here, and that's a clash. The one, the one is not in the sequence, because you can't run up to a one, and you're not allowed to use a two. So the sequence is there. What color are we using going downwards? We're using yellow. Upwards, we're using purple, and if they're going downwards, the upwards are here. Right, there's a 3-8 pair there, so where does 3 go? It's got to go here at the beginning of the yellow sequence, and then the purple sequence is 6-7, and that final column is all done and was very helpful. We've got a 4-5 pair there. This is a very rare puzzle where I'm actually starting to think we could almost finish with Sudoku from here, but I'm sure we can't because uh, Three Good Five You wouldn't have provided other clues if we could. Now, let's use the clues then. We've used almost all the three clues. We've just got this one, an orange sequence, to go here. Oh, and there's a two the other way. Okay. How do we use those? Let's... Well, the three sequence isn't, doesn't start from the four because there's no sequence there. It doesn't indeed use any, oops, any of those four. Well, it's not there, it's not there, and it's not there because the one or two are too far away. It's not there because it would have to be four, five, six, and the four and six would clash. It's not there because the six would still clash. Right. So this three sequence is either there or there. It involves those two cells which I can turn orange and think about. So this one can't be four, five, or six. It's seven or eight. It can't be nine because that's in the sequence. Can it be one, two, or three? Probably. Now this one is one bigger. That could be two, three. It can't be four, so we'll take out three. 
It could be 8 or 9, but hang on. This can't be as big as 7 or 8, because that is not allowed to be... Oh, it could go up to here. Right, this can't be 9, because that would be 8 and that would be 7, and that would clash. So... Well, it can't be 8. Oh, no, hang on. It can't be 8 if we go back to here. It could be 7, 8, 9, this side. Or... Oh, this can't... That well, could be a 2. No, we're not allowed to use 4. Right, the sequence is either 1, 2, 3. That can't start here because 3 would clash, and it can't start here because 1 would clash. It is not 1, 2, 3, it is 7, 8, 9, and it is quite straightforward. And for some reason it's taken me quite a while to see it. Maybe I'm sort of case testing too hard. I should relax a bit in this puzzle. It's not too bad. Now, what is the 2 going rightwards, going to the right? It's not there, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. It's not there and it's not there. So it's these two. They must be a one and a two. That's lovely. Oh, I was doing, yeah, green from the right. That's right. I've got all, I'm going to have a lot of greens in the end. So that's a three. That's a one. Now we get more, more Sudoku to do. Hurrah. Eight, nine pair. Ooh, that's a deadly pattern. It's going to have to be resolved by a clue. Two and seven. This must be, oh, I can do these. Five, two, four. I could tell it's a two, four, five triple based on these, and then the fives and then the four show me how that works. That has to be a six, and I'm left with a one, three pair. That has to be a six because it sees one and three. Now I can do the nine, two, four based on these numbers. And ooh, I can't do the three, eight, seven, although I can take out one candidate in each case. Right, we're getting close now to a finish, I think. Two and five here. What clues have I still got left to use? This two and this two, and that's all, is it? No, this this two. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. This two now, where is this two? Six, one, one, three, or three, one. No, 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 yes, seven, eight. That resolves the eight, nine deadly pattern. And we can mark another green there. Now, this one's a bit hard to use at the moment. Let's hope we can use this clue. It's not in any of this area. 8, 3, 3, 9, 9, 1, 1, 4, 4, 7, or 6, 8. So, it's got to be 5, 6, hasn't it? 5, 6. Now, that's going to sort out a lot of the things. That's my last bit of yellow. A lot of the things looking down, because that 5 sees this cell. Four, five, four, three, eight, three. Um, that is a naked corner digit. It sees three, five, nine, six, four, one in the column, two, seven in the row. That's an eight. That sorts out quite a lot of the rest of the grid, in fact. Maybe, maybe it will do it all. Seven and six. Oh, no, I'm left with one more deadly pattern, one, nine. That must be resolved by this two clue which doesn't use any of those cells. It's not eight, six, doesn't use any of those. It's somewhere here. It must be one, two. That's lovely. So there we go. That is not too hard. Oops, I should just color that off to complete all of the coloring that I think I was doing. I've got three oranges from the right, three purples from below, six greens from the left, yes, and two yellows from above. That's all done. And unsurprisingly, um, at least didn't really matter. The streaks were always completed, I think, by... Yeah, there, there weren't any longer streaks than those clued on the outside. But it's a very nice puzzle. It's a very nice idea. It's not too hard, but it's a slightly new way of thinking about variant Sudoku. Um, I hope you weren't as um, sorry about the cut in the middle as I was because a blue screen error is quite alarming. I'm going to have to delete a lot of old recordings, I think, off this machine to avoid that in the future. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.